Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Legionnaires. Welcome back, troops. Welcome back, new recruits. Thanks for helping me grow. Really appreciate you guys. In front of you, you see the old timer, a classic hunter, the 169 OT. And we're going to get into it. All right, Legionnaires, inspection. What are you carrying? What's your EDC today? Let me know today. I've got the Kexmo flipper folder. I'm digging this thing, man. It's a pretty nice folder. Let me know what you guys are carrying. Active military veterans, as always, welcome to the channel. We appreciate you guys. You guys have a place here. Thank you very much, as always, for your service. All right, troops, let's do some quick specs. This is the Heritage Series Old Timer 169 OT with an overall length of 10.25 inches with a blade length of five inches. Blade material is D2 and it's polished to a wonderful sheen. Uh, blade type is a full tang. Drop point, uh, handle length is 5.25 inch. Handle material is a laminated wood. And the weight of this bad boy is eight ounces. It seems to come with a leather sheet. It smells like leather to me. I could be wrong, but let's do a quick close up. All right, let's do a quick close up. As you can see, I have the knife in the sheath. It's pretty nice little package. The sheath is adequate. Just stamped with old timer in a brown, I think it's leather type configuration. It's got uh, a, a snap for the strap. Okay, only one way to hold it. Knife comes out nice and easy, nice and quiet. Uh, I guess if you're a hunter, it, it'd be ideal. Here is the actual knife itself. Look at that beautiful polish. We are going to scratch this baby up. All right, a little bit of fine jimping on top here. Nothing too heavy. All right, beautiful drop point blade. Little sharpening choil. Guard, full tang. Beautiful laminated wood handles. It's got a little bit of contouring over here for some grip, but very comfortable in the hand. No matter how I am holding it so far, no hot spots that I could feel. Very nicely done. You have a little old timer logo. Now this is a hunting knife. I'm gonna do some bushcraft work with it or some camping stuff. Hopefully it'll hold out. Now I've watched some other content creators use this knife not abuse it and it seemed to come out with flying colors. The only concern that I have, my particular model has a little crack right over there, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm going to use this knife, do some chopping, batoning, and get to work. And we're gonna use this log right here. It's a pretty thick log. Let's get to it. All right, one thing I did forget to mention is this knife does not have a hole for a lanyard, which I don't know if it's a good thing. As a hunter, I guess you don't really need it. Um, I would have preferred a hole. I don't think it's such a bad idea. So we'll see how the chopping is gonna work out and how that handle works out. It'll be interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of chopping, uh, V-notch batoning. Oh yeah, definitely would benefit from a from a lanyard. Now I notice right off the bat, I definitely have to hold it with my two fingers here all the way at the end. And it's a good thing that it's got this little curvature over here so you, it won't slip out of the hand. But again, this is, a hunting tool in my opinion you know this is more for uh, cutting up deer or animals or something like that so I just want to make sure that I show the troops out there the possible capabilities of this knife and it's in D2 steel and so far I've been testing a lot of D2 steel knives and I love them This knife is really sharp. It did come out pretty sharp out of the box. So 
any of you who own this, let me know in the comments below if you have the same experience with this knife, if you have this knife and what you've done with it, you know? I know it's uh, hunting season pretty much around the, the uh, country and I'm kind of curious to see if some people, hunters, own this particular blade and have used it as such. All right, well, you know, holding it back here is not a problem at all. It seems to be a pretty positive grip. Maybe that's why these little notches are over here. But, uh, you know, I, it's not slipping out of my hand. And it seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, edge. Still sharp and seems to be doing good. No deformation. <laughs> the other day I said deformation. Defamation. I meant to say deformation. Um, no chips yet. I know it's only a short time, but initial impressions seem to be pretty positive. And that's a pretty nice, pretty nice deep gouge right there. Uh, you know what? Let me do some V-notch batoning. I'm going to grab the baton and we'll continue. All right, let's try a little bit of V-notching. All right, that's a nice notch right there. Look at this. Look at that chunk it took out. I like it. Like I had mentioned the other day, I do enjoy this V-notch batoning better than chopping. That's for sure. Definitely making some nice clean cuts. Spine is looking good. I just got to do a little bit of a balancing act over here. And what I like about the V-notch batoning, I've noticed you don't have to really pound too hard. You know, you just chip away at it a little bit at a time. Bingo. Look at that. It's a nice notch. Very nice. This is a solid piece of wood right here, folks. And the knife is doing real well for a hunter. Do a little more and then we'll just baton right through. All right, let's see if we can baton right through. Actually, let me get rid of this little piece over here. All right, let's do it. Nicely done. Nicely done, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And okay, let's just check everything. The spine is looking good. My laminate didn't break yet from all the banging. Edge looks good. Let's move on. All right, let's process this log down even further. I got one with a nice knot over here, and uh, that's what I'm going to test out first.
Look at that, troops, right through. And it split the log. Very nice. Let's do the other side real quick. Well, actually, it's just split. It's split open. Fantastic. Let's do a little more. Not bad for a hunting knife. Not bad at all. Let's go vertical. No problem. One more. Fantastic. Let's make some feather sticks. There we go. Looking good. I'm going to process some more off camera. I'll be back. All right, let's do some simple feather sticks. I want to show you the sharpness still. Still pretty good. I have a little bit of bark here. Still shaving. Cutting right into the wood. It's doing, it's, it's real, real sharp. So uh, I'm not sure what kind of heat treatment these guys are doing over here at Trey, but this is stellar, this Heritage Series old timer, you know? All right, so let's see real quick if we could do some feather sticks. Uh, let me get a better stick here. Yep. Looking good, nice and fine too. Very capable for a hunting knife, you know? You can kill two birds with one stone with this thing. All right, very nice. I'm digging it. Blade's getting nice and dirty. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to make some manageable pieces, but I want to use the baton to do it. So, since this doesn't have the forward weight for chopping, I guess a good way to do it if you want to make some manageable pieces is baton this down. Okay, that's good. Uh, just fell on the floor. Pick that up in a second. Very nice. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. Edge is still looking good. Still sharp. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Too bad I don't have like a... Should have gotten some meat. Some, some meat with a bone. There you go. Some nice individual curls. Wicked sharp. All right, cool. All right, let's do a little carving. Since this isn't really front heavy or rear heavy, it's, it's very well balanced. It's doing a little bit different uh, different way to make my my point there 
Yeah, it's carving all right. Okay, let's see. Make sure I'm in camera. It's, it's really, really insanely sharp. I still can't believe how sharp it is. Look at that. Look at the angles I'm making. You can get really precise with this, you know? All right, that's a nice little tip. Get rid of this bark. I'm really liking it. I'm liking this knife. The handle is comfortable. Everything about it just screams awesome. Now, this series, the Heritage Series, they have a few more knives in this particular configuration with this uh, laminated handle. I think I'm gonna look into them. Because this wasn't very expensive, this was 50 bucks. And this is a nice size knife for that kind of money. And so far, she's doing pretty good. Now you saw me doing the thumb work over here. Which is totally capable. So let's see. Let's just taper this top off. Very nice, very nice, look at that, look at that. Let's, uh, let's test out this tip real quick. Just taking my time, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't accidentally cut myself. So that you guys can see. Okay, nice little divot right there. Tip looks good. All right, let's make a little notch. You know what, let me get the baton real quick. Okay, that should be good. Nice and sharp.
Okay, definitely doing it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Very capable. Not only is this a nice hunting knife, but it could do some bushcraft tasks. Yep, sharp enough. Working out good. All right, Legionnaires, up to this point, I've been pretty happy with this knife. So far, so good. It's still sharp. I got some fat wood and I've got some regular wood and I'm going to use the spine and see uh, what I can do as far as scraping. Give that a test. We'll start with the wood first and I'm going to do this little brown side. That looks like it's doing a good job. I am using the jimping over here, the light jimping. See the spine itself. Yeah, the spine itself is doing pretty good. Okay, all right, made a nice little pile. Let's check out this uh, fat wood. And I did use this the other day. Yeah, it's doing it. It's not, it's not a very sharp spine. But I guess, you know, in a situation where you need to start a fire, you know, this works okay, the spine. Look at that. All right, let's make some individual curls with this. All right, nice. Still sharp. Again, I, I know I only use it for a limited time, but it's it's wicked sharp. Look at those look at those coarse screw curls. Let's use the front end. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Look at that. Doing a real good job. All right, let me finish this up off a of camera. At least you got an idea of what this is capable of with the fatwood. And we're gonna do a Legion lighter for Bushcrafter. All right, troops, we are gonna do a Legion lighter for Bushcrafter. Now, I noticed that the spine isn't as efficient as scraping, so I did break out the Smiths. I got a little bit of fluff, but let's test out the, uh, the ferro rod with this spine and see if she lights up, okay? Wow, it's real smooth. Not really, not really doing much. Nope. Let's see. I just gotta get in there, I guess. Dig in. Yeah, it's not doing much, folks. Let's see what this. Ah, all right. So the sharpening trail seems to be pretty sharp. So let's try that. There we go, Bushcrafter. You have been honored, sir. That's a nice fire right there for you, buddy. All right, very cool. The Legion also has been honored. Great, great fire. All right. I'm real happy with that, folks. Real happy. All right troops this old timer did an awesome job the heat treat on the steel seems to be pretty good at least with the testing that i've done or should i say the initial testing that i've done it did a lot of work i uh, cut that huge uh log in half baton through it v-notch through it i mean it did a, it did a fine job um this is basically in my opinion a hunting knife i wish there was a lanyard hole on it but, uh, and, and a sharper spine. So I don't know if Schrade will take a look at this and make those changes, which I doubt. But a uh, sharper spine would be nice and uh, you know a hole for a lanyard would be pretty awesome. Other than that, this knife did a phenomenal job for a hunter, you know? And 
I think it's just fantastic. Um, feather sticks, curls, you know, some minor scraping of the wood and uh, fat wood. Um, tent stake did a fine job. Even the tip, I did a little small tip test. No problem, it made a nice little divot as you could see right over here. Uh, quartered, cut, baton right through to make these little pieces right here. Let's say if you have a, a firebox stove or something similar, or maybe just a small little campfire. Awesome knife, guys. And Bushcrafter, I hope that you enjoyed that fire. You know, I wanna thank you for always uh, commenting on my videos. And you've stuck around, man, which I really appreciate, you know. And, uh, you know, I encourage you to do some more videos too, man. Um, would appreciate seeing a lot more videos from you too. But that's just a suggestion, and I appreciate everybody. All right, guys, this has been Grugs of Legion Tact Cool Cutlery, and we did test out the Old Timer 169 OT in D2 Steel. Not a bad blade. Check it out. All right, troops, Legionnaires, any new recruits, Really appreciate you guys. Thank you for checking out my channel and watching. I want to bring awareness to uh, veterans and uh, everybody out there. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are military personnel and veterans that come out of the service and they face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. In the comments section and the description section and at the end of this video will be links, phone numbers, to where you guys can get some help. Also, there is a slide and some messages uh, from Martin Miller, who was a Vietnam veteran from 66 to 69. He has been there, he has done that, he's ex experienced what you guys have experienced, and he has gotten the help. He has a heartfelt message. It's in the comments section, it's in the description section, it's at the end of this slide. Please read it and seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, new recruits, thank you again. You guys hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires!